Good morning everybody, alright, another day, we've got another Audi in, now this is a Audi SQ7, it's a 2016 I believe, and today we've got this vehicle in to diagnose a check engine warning, as you can see we've got an engine light on, so we're going to get that diagnosed and see what's going on. Alright, so we've just completed our fault report and what we are looking into here is... This fault, so as you can see in our engine ECU, we've got one active fault, which is P15B700 electrically driven compressor. We're going to go into our live data, we're going to let, get a little bit of information on this particular code. Alright, so a little bit of back info on this system. So this is a 48 volt electric compressor. So this is our EPC here, electric powered compressor. Um, and as you can see, it's the base of the system. So we've got our twin turbo set up on the top. This is a really good animation about how these systems work from Audi Tech Info. Um, you can get it online at YouTube. But we've got our two intercoolers and we've got a 48 volt compressor here with two plugs going into it. Now, this compressor is what it's complaining about. So what we have to do is test our wiring integrity up to here and make sure that that's all good. If that's the case, then it will need a new compressor. Um, so where this lives on the vehicle is right down here. Got a torch, as you can see. If we get this cover out of the way a little. All right, so a bit more info on this. Um, most of these systems, I've seen these a couple of times now, and we've done the Bosch training on these systems. They're covered by live data for a lot of things. So we can check our input voltage via live data, 49 and a half volts, which is good. That means we've got 49 and a half volts coming up to this compressor. Um, this is sensed and sent back to the engine computer from the compressor. So there's hand wires in this compressor. Um, so we know that our input at least is good, right? We can still pull it off and check that across the wires, but it's good enough to know that we've got high voltage up to there. Um, as far as our other wiring, we just want to check for our feed, our ground and our communication wires. So we're going to get some diagrams on that. And that is pretty much it. Now there is some different TSBs and stuff on these. Apparently they're becoming quite a common failure. Um, there is superseded part numbers and things like that that you're supposed to replace this unit with if you can get the newer part number. Um, being that this car's just out of warranty though, that won't be a cheap repair. So we'll check the wiring first anyway and we'll go from there and we might see if we can get some more info to show everyone how these 48 volt systems work. All right, we're gonna go in here, check our wiring integrity, and I've got back connection at the minute. Um, there we go, there's our 13.2 volts. Uh, let's get in there to our cam wires next. That'll be our ground, so we should have a millivolt reading, perfect. This I'm assuming is a can wire, so 2.6, perfect. This should be another can wire, 2.4, perfect. So our communication's good, our power's good, our grounds are good, we know our high, vol our high voltage inputs, so our 48 volt inputs good. Um, this thing is gonna need a compressor. We can try and clear the faults and readapt it and see what happens, but my assumption is that it's gonna need a compressor. Most likely drawing too much current, too little current. Um, We've had a good look around, we can't get any independent components for these yet. There's no repair services or anything for them, so it's just going to be an OE replacement. Alright, so I want to sort of educate everyone a bit on how these work, because these are a new system. Um, this video is about all we can find other than Audi Tech Info, which will bore the brains out of everyone. So that's your turbocharger system there, as you can see, and then we've got our 48 volt compressor over here with those two big plugs and the one little plug down on the side. Now what happens is that will get commanded from the 48 volt compressor, that bypass valve will close up and it'll charge up and put pressure through there. So similar to a normal turbocharger system, as you can see, you've got your cooler, etc. And it has got cooling lines that run into it. Then you go into your normal twin turbo setup. So if we move along, there was one more good animation. Um, these do have Audi's variable valve lift system too. That's a whole other thing to bugger up. Uh, where was it? There was one more good animation about this. There we go. So that's your whole turbo system. Um, as you can see, obviously, you've got your two coolers on the front. So twin coolers, twin turbo with your 48 volt compressor. Now the battery for these lives out the back. So there's a 48 volt lithium battery in the boot that controls it. There's also a separate control unit that monitors that battery's charge rate. Um, you know, 49 and a half volts is fine. It means it's getting current through it. Apparently those batteries have been failing overseas in Europe and the UK as well. Um, but that's how the system works. And then as far as wiring inputs, it's just very simple. 
you've got your 248 volt wires there and you've got your wires down here so we've got a power ground so 12 volt feed chassis ground and two cam wires so your white and orange which are your normal all right sitting in the office um just to sort of show everyone what we've got going on here here's our parts diagram this is a component here number one our part number is 057145601e and the price listed online um, is 1812 euros the australian price out of germany is 6218 dollars for plus weeks for shipping um and yeah i can't even get a labor time on this thing it's pretty buried the whole front end headlight everything i'd have to come off to replace it um so that'll be interesting so what you got is you got your inlet pipe you've got the outlet pipe there there's a bypass valve here your two coolant hoses those 248 volt plugs we were looking at and then the little plug on the side um, and then that's just the foam that goes over the top so very 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 expensive part um, obviously with these systems a very very expensive